Hello everyone, this is Computer Mammon here, and welcome back to a long and awaited tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial video on this channel for probably about like, I don't know, I think it's been like about three months, possibly two, two to three months, maybe even four. So it's been absolutely ages since I've done one, I'm so glad to be doing one. Um, but I thought of an outside the box thing today, uh, basically it's called um, text art and character symbols. So basically, um, there's these like you can go on the internet and you can find these cool like uh, characters which you can copy and paste, and I'm going to show you how to customize your PC with them. Uh, now, because you, you know how you have your normal keyboard symbol, you know all those sorts of regular symbols. Well, basically you can get these really cool, awesome looking ones which you know have like kind of a picture on them uh, and things like that. So basically, uh, what you want to do, want to do is go on to Google. And uh, what you're going to want to type into Google is cool text characters. Okay, so once uh, Google has then uh, loaded, basically uh, you will get presented with a bunch of these like different websites. They all virtually have the same stuff, I suppose. You know, just different characters, really. You just explore them, see what you can find. But the first site I want to show you, which is the first one that comes up in the list, uh, is a is a Tumblr website made by uh, Rami El Ashi, and uh, basically he's just got a whole bunch of like uh, text characters and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do is just literally copy and paste, and then you just put them where you want them. Uh, okay, so next up, I'm going to be showing you where you can actually put these things. Now there are quite a, uh, there's not actually too many things which you can actually rename in Windows 10. Um, you know, just for customization uh, purposes, but I've uh, listed four things down here. First is files renamed and folders. So as you can see on the screen now, I've got a picture here. This is basically me using the text symbols and I was able to customize my uh, folders. But do be aware though, not every icon will work with Windows. Some of them might not be recognized, which means it'll probably come out as a weird blank sort of symbol. So don't expect every single, uh, single, um, you know symbol to work so the next one we have is the start title headings this one is only very specific to uh, Windows 10 possibly 8 but I'm not sure if you can do it on 8 because obviously I haven't used uh, Windows 8 so basically the start title headings are just when you go to start and then you have like these above here the groups where you have your group like icons but as you can see there's a picture on the screen now where basically I've showed uh, the customization of how um, I did it and then it just shows it there like this. Uh, now the next one we have is an account name. If you want to do it, I'm just going to show you how to create a new account. So all you have to do is go down to start and then you've got to look for settings. Mine's in full screen. It's quite nice in full screen, you should try it actually. If you want to, you know, go away from the original start. But then what you're going to want to do is go over to accounts if mine eventually uh, load that is there we go so then you're going to want to go down to sign in options I think is it? no no sorry sorry family and other accounts um, and then what you're going to want to do is on here you're going to go add someone else to this PC okay guys so once the window opens up uh, simply all you're going to want to do is just look for the bottom bit down here which says I don't have this person sign in information alright now when you get to this screen um, you know it'll ask you to set it up with a Microsoft account because that's what Microsoft want you to do um, now you can use a Microsoft account obviously if you set up the first name and the surname but the only thing with a Microsoft account is it takes longer to set up because then you've probably got to verify it and all that so just click on the thing down here where it says add a user without a Microsoft account yeah okay so as you can see I've now put um, my epic new username alright guys so after now setting the account I've now actually got a screenshot uh, for you here showing the actual account on the um, lock screen bit as you can see it looks pretty sick how it actually comes up on the uh, you know the lock screen area it makes it look really cool and somewhat a bit different so on to the last use for these cool text symbols uh, basically uh, I'm going to show you how to save them into a notepad document now the reason why I say notepad document 
uh, is because the fact that Notepad is uh, really popular on uh, Windows. You know, you see most people doing for like uh, written YouTube tutorials, um, or you know, you can just use them as reminders because that's what I mostly use them for. I mostly just create one just to write down stuff to remind me of things to do. Okay, so you're going to want to go to File and then hit Save. So I do want to note out that when you do click save, this error message will pop up. If we did click OK, basically uh, this is what would happen when we reopen it. So all we're going to do is press cancel. Okay guys, so then once you press cancel, uh, the save as window should pop up. You're going to want to go down here to where it says encoding, and you're going to want to change it from ANSI, and you're going to want to put either Unicode or Unicode Big Endian. Okay, once you do that, then just hit save, and it will say, do you want to replace, just hit yes, and then it should save it. So now I'm just going to reopen my text document that I just made, and as you can see, the symbols are all there, they all haven't been altered, uh, so that's basically just how you save it in an offline uh, form. Uh, but lastly as well, I just want to make some um so list some other things as well that i'm not going to show you but basically you can use them online obviously one thing i would say is one so one thing i want to say at this video i don't want to be blamed for any sort of like inappropriateness used by these like icons because basically some of these icons may look cool to you but to others they but to others who you're sending them to or showing to turn them to they might be quite offensive like you know if you're uh, using them so be careful when sending these uh, so with that out of the way guys, uh, that is the end of the tutorial video, um, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, are customising your PC now with these cool text icons and I'll see you soon.